people, hello friends, uh, welcome to Chris' channel. Now we've been missing in action and uh, we haven't uploaded something because we've been really, really busy this year so far. Um, unless you've been hiding under a rock, you're familiar with what's going on and, and how this corona thing, um, this novel virus is affecting us um, and affecting the world. Uh, specifically Australia because um, we're living here so um, yeah how that is affecting us at a macro and micro level um, and uh, yeah everyone's struggling everyone's at different points um, different situations but uh, yeah uh, some things we can't control they're beyond our control uh, currently we've got we're under restriction restriction free which allows us to um, get out, out of the home, um, do the grocery shopping, um, you know, we'll be able to go to Bunnings um, and school and work if we're able to. Um, other than that, we're not allowed, oh, and exercising, of course. You do your run around the block. And other than that, we're not able to go outside. We're not allowed, so we get fined. Um, so we don't want that yeah so i've been busy uh, doing my school thing and um, working as well so i guess it's perfect time to to do a lot of reading and studying um, and everything's moved online so universities have moved their um, assessments and and the the materials online and um, they were actually the first to respond i, I remember Latrobe University, that's the one that I'm with, and Monash did as well. They were actually the leading um, uh, yeah, groups um, or university uh, that decided to move everything online. And at the time I thought uh, to myself, it must be pretty serious if they're going online. And, um, you know, and then further, I think, two weeks after that there were further restrictions um, made by the government um, so yeah I thought when that happened uh, they, I thought that was a, a sign um, anyway we've been busy and um, preparing and uh, you know you, you do the readings and following up on, up on things and you, you have to read it in between the lines um, when you read something specifically um, when it came to masks now we were told through the media by um, um, by actually experts in the field um, diseases uh, communicable diseases experts actually recommended when it came to masks that the healthy person should not wear a mask that was said now my friend talked to me, I think a day or two later, this was in, I think the beginning of February, um, and he said to me, well, we know, you know, we don't have to uh, worry so much, and we're healthy, and we shouldn't wear a mask because, you know, the authorities or the, the, leading, the leaders in the field are telling us, and I said to him, okay, so that means nurses and doctors don't have to wear masks, is that correct? Um, when they're confronted by cases uh, so and that's obviously not right we know that they wear a mask to protect themselves with you know from catching the disease right so there has to be um, a reason for why or to why they um, wear the personal equipment personal protective equipment PPE you know um, and then I think about a month later you know like I had a conversation to my wife because she's a nurse and I said to her you know what they're running out of masks and they want people to believe that they don't need masks that's that because they're healthy they will never catch this thing unless they're sick they shouldn't really put a mask on and and that was absolute rubbish and from what we know now, a month later, so fast forward to now, um, we know that that is incorrect. 
and the actual best protection is yes social distancing so the 1.5 meters right but wearing a mask so when you're out there you cannot rely on other people to do the right thing we know that you know there'll be always people out there you know having, having to justify you know why they're not quarantining themselves or you know not doing the right thing so yeah that was kind of interesting and when I explained it to my friend he kind of saw um, you know the, the, like my way of thinking is uh, is a more um, correct correct way in some ways and it makes more sense really so anyway uh, yeah no, so we got ourselves this one here which is like a pack of masks and I organized that um, you know we got the surgical masks of course um, and uh, we've got organized them as well um, now if my wife does run out then she's got some masks um, to fall back on and also I wasn't I was unable to get um, the hand lotion, the um, alcoholic hand lotion, which is the hand sanitizer, rather. Um, so I've done some Googling and the isopropyl alcohol came up. I was fortunate to get one. This was like about a month ago. Now you don't have a chance to get one anymore. They all sold out. So I couldn't source anything after that. So um, you can make your own hand sanitizer um, so this one is really good if you can get your hands on this uh, yeah very useful um, so this is a hundred percent very strong this stuff so you would mix it with aloe vera the gel um, which I've done so it's three quarters of this stuff to one quarter um, aloe vera that's the ratio so yeah that was good that was handy um, yeah also one of the other things to get don't get me started with the toilet paper we don't really use it that much so I didn't really have to stock up and like we go through one pack in like a month so there was no great hurry for us to really stock up it wasn't really a sensible thing to do so we didn't like we saw people around us doing it but I, I didn't get carried away and there was no reason to to do that so um another one that is handy is methylated spirits if you can get that um, that will really disinfect everything and this is good for surfaces and doorknobs and things like that also um glen 20 is a good one to spray on surfaces and you know things like that uh, you know, we prepared a little bit. I've been following this whole thing since January and I knew a tsunami was coming, really. Um, it was inevitable when you had a look at what China was going through. Interestingly, some of the other countries were on the back foot somewhat. Um, our government really did well. They called, they called this a pandemic when it was an epidemic. Um, they were already they already had um, an emergency plan in place. Um, they acted pretty swiftly, so you know like you, I can't really say anything. Um, their response was really good, um, and how they helped people out of jobs that well that are now out of jobs um, because of the measures they really had to take. Um, you know, all in all, yep. Yeah, it's a difficult time, but I think the government handled it pretty well. Um, and they're handing out a lot of cash to the ones that really are affected. Even childcare is free at the moment, so that's a good thing. Um, so for, for, for workers who have to work, like healthcare workers, if they have children, they get free childcare. So that's, that's really helpful. Um, things have slowed down at the supermarkets, at, you know, like with people restocking, there was this um, about 
four, four or five weeks of um, a lot of people stocking up and buying loads uh, and they've really were able to supply well they've worked out something that supply chains so that was that was good they corrected that um, and then they put measures in place um, and put um, time times where people can't shop and they close it earlier as well so they've they've um they had to come up with a better system to make sure that the supermarkets are stocked and i think like the delivery trucks are coming in every every day now or multiple times a day actually um to make sure they've got enough stock for everyone because it was a it was an extreme shortage at the time um not so long ago a couple of weeks ago so yeah all good um we're doing all right we've done what we have to um i've stocked up on essentials i recommend getting some masks and and uh, hand sanitizer if you can if not you've got to make it yourself um so they're the top items i would recommend you to have during this time um and yeah just uh, what's another thing to do is probably get yourself um some wipes alcohol wipes or, or you know things like that um also it's good to have alcohol wipes in the car or or the hand sanitizer you know when you don't have access to soap and water that, that's pretty good just wipe down surfaces um yeah no all good um yeah and uh yeah exercising is good keeping in touch with people making sure you're not really isolated um 100 percent because you will still want to be actively um if you can't be active in the community you will st you still want to have those supports so making phone calls video chatting to loved ones and family and things like that making videos you know to say that you're still all right that you know you're all right and uh, you know you're still still okay um so they can see that you're about um yeah other than that not much else good time to study so if you want to do a course over the next six to eight months or whatever like this is the time to do it because you got plenty of time to do your readings and assessments all right until next time you know keep safe and stock up on the essentials and uh yeah we're out chris channel until next time hopefully uh things are going well where you are stay safe and uh adios all right <laughs>